Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Darts Around the Globe, a series where we meet a new darts player from a new country in every episode. Today we are joined by a true legend in darts. He has been active in the sport for over 30 years. We are joined by a member of the first PDC World Cup of Darts team of Malaysia in 2012 and a former WDF Asia Pacific Cup singles champion in 2006. We're talking about Amin Abdul Ghani. Hello everyone, I'm Amin Abdul Ghani from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and this is that around the globe. It's a big honor to have him on the show. It's uh, Amin bin Abdul Ghani. Um, Amin, uh, how are you doing today? I'm fine, my friend. I'm fine. Thank you for inviting me to the session. It's a great honor to be uh, part of the Dutch community, to, sh- to be uh, in sharing and uh, thought of how to develop the the, the Dutch uh, scene in Malaysia and also to the part of the Asia and the world. Yes, we would love to hear some more stories about your country, Malaysia, and we're going to talk about your career and uh, stuff like that, because... Um, yeah, you have been on in the dart scene for quite a while. Um, yeah, can, can you uh, tell us something about yourself? Like, where are you coming from regarding the darts, and um, like, what are you up to in your life right now? Do you have uh, you have a job or something like that? Okay, uh, I've, I'm 61 years old now, so I've uh, uh, permanently retired, and uh, I stay home to look after my. Uh, my grandson, granddaughter, so and I have a lot of time to you know to practice darts and uh, currently because of the COVID and all this uh, MCO you know mm-hmm. this uh, stay home, stay back home. So there is no no classes that I normally I will have some coaches coaching class. Uh, set up a coaching class in school and uh, in uh, pubs and clubs, but. Everything was uh, relaxed and stopped for a while, waiting for the new uh, new years to come. So yeah. I hope, uh, I hope by next year things will be better for us to start again to, to kick off the the dark the, the dark matters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what uh, what everybody hopes in, indeed. Um, yeah, what's what's your history in dart in darts? When did you start playing the sport? Okay, we, uh, I started playing darts in the office actually, uh, okay. when I was in the office, so we had a lot of time in the office and uh, my friend took a board at the at the office and we started throwing there and that's where we started in 1985, I started playing in 1985 and uh, I didn't stop playing until today and uh, there's a lot of achievement actually, You, if you see my profile, I've been playing all over the world. Mm-hmm. I play soft, I play soft tip, I play steel tip, and actually the I was the first first one to bring up the soft tip in Malaysia, my by my by by my Japanese friends in uh, Japan. They they brought the machine to Malaysia, and that's where we started the soft tip also. Wow! And uh, yeah, we stopped. Our soft tip was uh, flying very high at this time, but. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, companies coming in for soft tip. And uh, we also have a soft, uh, our steel tip also is doing well. Okay, and uh, we have our Malaysian Open, we have this uh, club open, we have the uh, interstate open. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's a very, uh, very, uh, what you call challenging uh, moment, but uh, well said, it's that at the moment it's all uh, slow down for this COVID. Yeah. So, so, so get that. So to get that the timeline right, um, Malaysia is obviously um, like a, a former colony also. So was was steel tip um, popular before the soft before you brought the soft tip? And then yes, yes. what's it? What's it now? Is it soft tip or steel tip at this at this moment in Malaysia? We have two session. Uh, we have two uh, category of people playing. Uh, the, the young one will be playing, the young ones will be playing the soft tip, okay? And the seniors will, more of the seniors will be playing the uh, steel tip. And uh, we're very lucky that we have this government, our government bodies, they are forming a lot, uh, a lot of our go- government bodies are forming their teams. And we have uh, 
uh, new market for this uh, young uh, office staff playing darts, and uh, you know, and uh, they cre create a more, more challenging uh, scene at, at present. Wow, that's that, that's good to hear um, about the, the development in darts in in Malaysia. Let's let's go back to your career. Um, you said you started playing like around 1985, but um, most of your major um, achievements were later in your career. Like in 2000, you participated at the uh, WDF Asian Pacific Cup in uh, Singapore. Was that the true start yes, of your career? Yeah, that was my true start. From then onward, I was playing with the uh, playing the uh, Asia Cup, WF, w, w, uh, what, WDF Asia Cup. And then the next session, I was playing the World Cup. Two World Cup I played, one in uh, Australia and one in Holland. Yes. So I think that was my uh, great achievement. And also I played the, the PDC, the double PDC World Cup. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think uh, I've, I've, I've gone through all the major tournaments. Yeah. So in my life, uh, I'm waiting to play that in the planet only. Um, yeah, um, that 2004 was the first time at the Asian Pacific Cup. But then, yeah. in uh, 2006, you've won the tournament. Yes. You've won a, in the final against the uh, the player from New Zealand, Warren Perry. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, can you just bring us back to to that day? How was that experience over there? I was winning the tournament and becoming the best player from the Asian Pacific region. Okay, because uh, that was my uh, I was at a peak at the time. That's and I was the pick at the time, and uh, also uh, after the winning of the WF, uh, I mean WDF Asia Cup in Kuala Lumpur, mm -hmm. on the same year the Japanese came in to the Japanese took me up and sponsored me to play for the Japanese uh, sponsor. Spon I got a sponsorship from Japan. Yeah, that's where from Tiga. I I was with Tiga for until now. Tiga Japan. My my barrel is Tiga, so they were supporting me all the while until now, and uh, that's where I pick up and uh, I promote myself up and uh, uh, ex excel in in, in in that with the support of the Japanese uh, uh, group. I have this uh, very good uh, Mr. Uh, Kojiro. He was uh, one of the one who brought me up, support me well, mm -hmm. and he took me all well also. I went to Chicago. He, he 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 sponsored me to Chicago. We played in the bull shooter, uh, bull shooter Europe. So that was, uh, and then I have few friends who sponsored me to play in the uh, soft tip in Paris. So yeah, I, I've been. Uh, so I think it's, it's worth playing darts now. Uh, you know, I people were talking about darts. Uh, you just play at home, but no, for me it's a traveling. You can travel if you play well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so winning that Asia Pacific Cup in 2006 certainly opened a lot of doors for you, certainly, um, well, made you travel the world. Um, is there some experience or some, uh, yeah, some experience that you had in darts that you still, like, um, have in mind now and you think, wow, that was, that was, that was an, an awesome experience and, and, and I appreciate it, I really appreciate that experience. Yeah, because uh, you create a fan base actually. You have your own fan base, you know. So mm -hmm. and uh, wherever you go, uh, I didn't expect that as a dart player you have a worldwide best uh, fan base. You see, you if you can't you can't create it just overnight. It's a you know it's over time that you need to uh, excel. You have to be. Your your networking you must be very good in your networking. Your friendship with uh, other countries players. So that's uh, I think uh, I've achieved uh, at the most at most of what a dart player or another a sportman who wish to be in this position. Yeah, six years after that one of the Asia Pacific Cup, you participated in the very first team of uh, Malaysia on the PDC World Cup of Darts. It's at the, the pair competition indeed. Yeah, you played uh, Ireland in the first round. You lost with uh, two to five. Um, yeah, yeah can, can you bring us back on that stage? It was your first time on the PDC stage. How was it to be over there? 
<laughs> okay, that was a great experience because uh, it's out of my mind that you be on the stage where I've been all the while we've been watching on TVs, okay, and uh, now you are there on the stage, and uh, there was the 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 walking in, you know, the walk the walk walking and uh, on the stage head with the uh, spectators around shouting and around. So that was a, a special feeling that uh, you you can't get a, a outside of the stage. <laughs> so uh, when you are on the stage, you know your foc your mind is not your mind should be uh, more hundred percent focused. But because of the this is our first experience, and uh, you know. So we try our best, but uh, uh, we managed to get some some points. Exactly. But the the Ireland, they were a great player also. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Team Ireland with uh, I think William O'Connor and Mick McGowan in in their team at the, at the time, which are world class uh, players, of course. Um, yeah, it was the second edition of the World Cup of Darts there over there in two thousand twelve. Um, do you? remember a little bit the the process of adding Malaysia to that tournament is it something that you were part of or did you just get a call from the Malaysian Darts uh, Federation that said hey I mean um, we want you on our team or how did how did it go okay uh, at that time uh, at that time they were uh, because it was first uh, edition for Malaysia team yeah so okay. they yeah so they they wanted a player who have a good profile, who have got a lot of achievement uh, to participate because they don't they didn't do, they didn't do any uh, qualifying round. So uh, later the next uh, the next stage they had uh, the next years they have the qualifying round, and uh, we have a uh, good nation players on the stage at that time after that. So during my time it was just. Uh, uh, players who have a good profile and who have had, who have been participating a lot of uh, games and events in the world class event, then they, they pick up and uh, to to play to play the the, the event the, mm -hmm. the game. Okay, so you were just uh, lucky that you you got a good record. The 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 Malaysian uh, darts people they knew you. They knew well. I mean, it's going to do well on that stage. So, um, well, yeah, that's that's an an awesome experience, of course. Um, I, th I think Malaysia participated for the second and the last time on that PDC World Cup of Darts in 2014 yeah. already. Um, do you think yeah. Malaysia will be at that tournament somewhere in the future again? I re we really hope that uh, they will consider inviting us back because we have a good uh, team of players. Because of uh, we have some small issues uh, in between them, that uh, the PDC has, uh, you know, has forfeit us from participating. But I hope they they will uh, consider again that uh, it's a it's a sport. It's a sport that people change uh, attitude, change, and uh, we can participate. We have the talented players to that they can uh, can can uh, make flowers, uh, make colors to the event. And also, we are in the Asia side. Uh, Malaysia is also one of the best uh, team in uh, in the Asia part of the world. So I hope PDC will uh, consider to taking us back into the event. Yeah, it, it would certainly be a good decision for you know globalizing the dart sport again and. Um, adding more countries to the tournament. I mean, I, I would be in favor, but <laughs> I don't think they will ask me. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, um, talking about the uh, cooperation between the PDC and Asian darts in general. We've seen um, the last couple of years the Asian tour arise, obviously. Um, yes, yes. Unfortunately, not a lot of Malaysian players uh, are playing on there. But yeah, f first of all, What's your thought about the Asian tour? Was it the great great decision from the PDC to organize such a uh, ranking tournaments over there? Yes, uh, that was a good uh, move. They, they they promote this uh, qualifying for Asia's Asia's uh, Southeast Asia game. 
because uh, this is where we we can uh, we can develop new talent and uh, we have uh, we have people uh, flying around around to few countries to participate into the qualifying round so it is a good uh, what you call uh, a good uh, to to promote this this uh, Asia PDC Asia because this is a very prestige game. Mm -hmm. So and uh, we will they, they, they will uh, they will getting uh, good talented players to participate. In Malaysia we have also we have because Malaysia we don't have players who have that great uh, fun to travel. We don't have the the money to travel. You know like like those people who have good sponsorship. There it's okay. For Malaysia, uh, we have to pay our own uh, pocket money to travel. You see? Yeah. There's no people or no uh, what you call association to support us. So that's why we have less Malaysian player playing uh, into the uh, qualifying round. If they play in the uh, like in Singapore or in uh, Kuala Lumpur, that's okay. But talking about to Hong Kong, to Japan, and uh, no, it's a bit co uh, costly to to travel. Oh yeah, I can I can already imagine that. Um, do you think the PDC will decide to um, organize an Asian tour weekend uh, in Kuala Lumpur at some point? Yeah, we hope that they they will consider uh, taking us up again because uh, they have done here twice. If not mistaken, they have they have qualified here. We have done twice in Kuala Lumpur. Okay. And uh, yeah, so. But lately, they were all out in Korea, in uh, Japan, so they a bit, a bit uh, tough for us to travel. Yeah, well, exactly. Um, one of the other major tournaments, or maybe the major tournament in Malaysia, is the WEF Malaysian Open. Um, it's also a tournament you got into the final in 2013. Um, yeah. yeah, how important do you think that tournament is for... The development in darts in, in your country. Okay, for actually uh, the the WDF Malaysian Open was is a yearly uh, event that uh, that create uh, more uh, more more players will be participating. They don't they don't they don't uh, they don't see their level of playing because uh, they will. They will just come in and and play, you know. They they don't care you are in what level you, you are level. So this is one of the thing that we want to create uh, awareness of uh, to to be brave to participate. So uh, WDF uh, Malaysian Open was one of the, the first step, the, the milestone for players to come in and and have the feeling that how uh, the world uh, world uh, what do you call. Uh, uh, world Championship uh, title players are playing there now, so uh, it's a great experience for Malaysian uh, players to participate in the WDF Malaysian Open, and uh, we have few countries around the Asia uh, coming in to participate. So that's where we have um, create more good competition and uh, excitement. Yeah, well. I think it definitely works um, getting that joy for the darts maybe in, in Malaysia. Um, the WDF Malaysian Open is a, a tournament that is already going on for quite a long time. It started in the 90s, 1980s already. It's a pretty yeah. prestigious uh, tournament. Um, yeah, um, you've been in that Malaysian dart circuit, circuit for yeah more than 35 years. Um, if you have to compare the dart circuit in Malaysia when you started playing and where it is now. Um, what development do, do you see in, in Malaysia? Okay, uh, before it was mostly all the seniors people are playing. The seniors are playing in uh, in pubs and in in pubs, especially, especially in pubs. Okay. So, but uh, but uh, lately and Recently, they are more on the government side. The office players are playing, so these are very more clean and you know healthy environment. This is very important because in Malaysia we have a lot of 
uh, to say that a Muslim, Muslim, they don't have to, they don't want to be in the pub and you know the alcohol and that. So, so now we have uh, the government players, the government team are forming, I uh, mean, creating event that uh, is a very clean and healthy environment. So this is uh, that is I think that's an achievement for us that uh, we are trying to uh, trying to do away with alcohol in this game to be a fair play a fair play event. Well, yeah, something something that PDC should should learn from you because they they still have alcohol on their events. So uh, no, you're you're doing quite well uh, over there. Um, yeah, at the, at this moment, obviously, you're not playing uh, darts now because of the lockdown and stuff. Um, yes. But let's say next year is going to be a normal year again. We can play whatever we want again. Um, you you already. You, you you don't work anymore. So what what's your schedule? I've I've heard you are doing some coaching here and there. Um, what are um, the things you are busy with on the, related with darts? Okay, uh, I'm I've also have running a, a small uh, dart store on my own, and uh, I'm selling this uh, dart machine, uh, radical dart machine, and also some. Uh, dart accessories so these are also backup for the players to you know for the players to get some new item and also new uh, new technology and new technique of uh, the, the coaching is very important actually for the young young one and uh, now I'm promoting in school actually but uh, because of this uh, we have stopped for a while Maybe next year I hope uh, I will do back again this school uh, coaching and uh, because we want to create a young because I, when I was in China, I mean in Shanghai, I, I saw this 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 student or, or young young student up you know they are developing they are their student in, into darts. That's why you see why the Chinese in other sports they are excel because they started very young. See the, the gymnastic especially. Why they started very young, mm -hmm. so I don't, uh, we don't uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, we should think that why they they, they, they they started young because they know this student uh, will be their uh, master in the future. So uh, that's why I I was also thinking of uh, putting more effort in schools, especially the young ones. And uh, that will create a more bigger base of uh, new talent players, young and talented players. Well, yeah, that that sounds sounds good. I mean, I I wouldn't know any better Malaysian coach coach than uh, than than you would be. So uh, yeah, let's let's hope that project will be continued. Um, yeah, next yeah. year, hopefully. <laughs> Talking about that future in darts in uh, Malaysia, we we've seen the Malaysian team on the WDF Virtual World Cup pretty recently, and uh, well, they they showed pretty uh, fine averages right uh, around uh, over there. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think I think there were also the team was quite quite young players over there too. So, what do you think the the future of darts is in uh, in Malaysia? Do you see talents um, growing up and do you see do you see some some players um, getting on that PDC stage again uh, like in the co future couple of five years or something uh, to be frank that as I told you earlier we have a lot of talented players if you give them time and uh, more uh, more uh, concentrate uh, concentrate training and focus on their their game I think we can uh, we have can we can have uh, more uh, more players and uh, better talented players to be around and uh, I can say that actually we have a lot of young and uh, young and uh, good players in the market at present but uh, because of the what you say the training and uh, the, the grouping of players are not there yet. So we need a grouping of players to, to, to form a... And we, have, we are doing our league actually. 
the league is very important for us to 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 get all these players uh, well equipped and ready for big tournament. Yeah, so can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, the leagues in Malaysia is it because we know in in England we have the counties and stuff, and we have the Super League. Um, how is it um, in Malaysia? Is the darts mostly in Kuala Lumpur, or um, do you also play against other cities, or how do I have to imagine that? Oh no, we have only uh, we have a. Uh, uh, a, a company, a company is doing uh, the, this league, okay? A, a sport company uh, hosted by the Malaysian Dart Association, okay? They will they were affiliate with this uh, Malaysian Dart uh, Association, and we have uh, this. Uh, it's a private, actually, like it's just a sort of private, uh, private uh, company that that is running the, this league. So that's where he, he got the interest in pulling up players from uh, uh, not all over the Malaysia, actually in Kuala Lumpur, only in Kuala Lumpur because uh, there's there's no prize money and everything that so uh, people are you know just to get the ranking and rating and uh, I hope uh, we have a good uh, program and and uh, set up to to how to to set up the good league. For, for the Malaysian players. Yeah, I think it's it's like you say, um, very important to bring all those talented players to one place so they you know, can compete each other and can get better from each yeah. other. Um, but... We are all scattering. We don't have all, all the great players at the same point. See? So your level of training is not, not that, 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 that high impact. You know? So you've been playing with the lower ranking players, and you you can't get the the, the high impact uh, training program. Mm -hmm. So that's I think that's the most important uh, uh, basic what you call training where we need a good uh, sparring for you know to achieve to excel. Yeah, it's a it's a difficult story, but I've I feel there's there's definitely some hope in the Malaysian darts enough talents over there um I've, I'm hearing I'm hearing from you from you um yeah talking about hope can we see uh, can we hope for uh, Amin to uh, to play in the, in a dart tournament soon again um do will we see him on the Asian tour maybe will we see him at the WF Malaysian Cup what, what's your plan uh, playing yeah. darts I've started. I've started my training program again. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, I've been. I will be throwing back again, and uh, to refocus back my mind. I, I actually that is, uh, you, if you have the passion of playing that, you have the interest. If if you and you are a sportman, you can always uh, adjust, adjust yourself to the environment, to the to the situation, and I see. If you see this this game going on around now, like these uh, players, from there you can also get the you know the emotion, the the, the what do you call the feeling of how they throw their their relaxation, their their composition. So this is very important that you got to bring into into yourself if you want to be like them on the stage. That's uh, that's some uh, fine uh, final words from you. I mean, I want to. Uh, thank you for being part of this podcast. I want to uh, um, wish you good luck with your future uh, darts project, um, like be it playing darts yourself or be it um, s starting a, a dart school and, and uh, having that dart shop. Um, yeah, thanks again and uh, good luck. Thank you, Bim. Thank you, Bim. Thank you for this, this good conversation. <laughs>